Hey guys, it's Flip, and today I'm going to show you how to clean your riding lawnmower deck and repaint it to help slow down rust. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is remove my mowing deck, and if you do not know how to do that, I will put a link in the corner of the screen right now to my video on how to remove a riding lawnmower deck and put it back on. My video pertains to a Troy Bill Pony in particular. But a lot of mowers are made by MTD these days, so the process looks very similar. So check that out if you think it'll help you. Before I flip this deck over, I'm just going to blow the grass and debris off the top. Then I'm going to flip it over so we can get to work. So taking a look at things, my deck is definitely overdue for a good cleaning. But before we get to cleaning and painting, it'll make things a lot easier if we go ahead and take the blades off first. So I'm going to show you two different ways you can remove your blades based on what tools you have. So the first way is with an impact wrench. This makes it really easy. You just grab the blade with a gloved hand and remove the nut. Mine takes a 15 16 socket and of course it needs to be an impact socket. If you don't have an impact wrench you can use a C-clamp and a scrap piece of 2x4 to keep your blade from rotating like this. Then you can use a breaker bar to remove the nut. Sometimes you may need a pipe extension on the end if it's really stuck. Then you can use a putty knife or a 6-in-1 painter's tool like I'm using here and start scraping off all the old grass. I'll put a link into the video to the kind of tool I'm using here. Scraping off grass like this is important to do as much as possible. Obviously I'm way overdue here. But the more you can keep grass off your deck, the more you can slow down the rusting process. Even if you try to cut your grass only when it's dry, live grass still has water inside it. So this is a battle you're always fighting. It's kind of a painstaking process, but you got to get all this grass off if you want to repaint it. And repainting will help slow down the rust. You don't want your deck rusting out because they're expensive to replace. Then you can use a wire wheel or a wire cup brush like I'm using here on an angle grinder or a drill to help get any remaining grass or loose rust. After blowing out some of that loose debris, then I took my pressure washer to it. A couple tips for pressure washing a mower deck. I wouldn't use a super aggressive tip, and this isn't something that I would really recommend doing all the time. Water obviously causes rust, so if you're trying to slow down rust, of course that's not something you want to be doing constantly. But when you need to get it really clean, like when you're going to repaint, it's an effective way to get the job done. And one last tip, I wouldn't spray a lot directly right into the spindles. Most bearings are sealed these days anyways, but it's really not something you need to risk messing up. So after pressure washing, I decided there were still a few rough flaky spots I wasn't 100% happy with. So I decided to take a wire wheel to it again to get it a little more smoothed out. I'm not trying to get all the rust off or all the paint off here. I'm just trying to get the rough spots out and get it as smooth as possible so I can repaint. This is not something you have to do unless you're unhappy with how things look after you pressure wash like I was. But of course you can keep going over it as much as you like until you get it looking how you want. After that I blew out the loose debris again and gave it another rinse off with the pressure washer. Then I let it dry out in the sun for a while and then it was time to paint. So the first coat I'm going to put on is this rust reformer made by Rust-Oleum and it converts rust into a paintable surface as you can see on the label here. It also says it'll stop the rusting process where it is right now. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the underside of the deck with this and then we'll do a top coat the next day. So this isn't really a beauty pageant, it doesn't matter how this looks. You're just trying to cover the whole deck thoroughly and then you've got to let it dry for 24 hours. So this is what I'm going to use for the top coat. It's Rust-Oleum 2X Paint and Primer. 
and the finish is gloss and that's just going to give it a little bit of a shinier slicker feel to it so the grass can shoot out easier so after 24 hours of letting the rust reformer dry you can go ahead and put on your top coat this is going to help make the paint job last and again, looks don't matter here much. We're just trying to get good coverage and slow down the rust process to make this deck last a long time. After letting your top coat dry for 24 hours, it's time to put your blades back on. And again, there's two ways you can do this. You can just crank it down with an impact like that. Or if you want to tighten the nut down to the exact torque, you can use the C-clamp and 2x4 method I showed you earlier with a torque wrench. The correct torque for a riding mower is between 70 and 90 foot-pounds. Then it's time to put your deck back on and again if you don't know how to do this I put a link to my video on how to do this earlier in this video and I will put that same link at the end of this video. If you've got any tips or suggestions on how to do this process better feel free to put them in the comments below. This is just how I do it. If this video helped you out, please hit the thumbs up button for me and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.